breathtaking, awe-inspiring, sacred. The Hawaiians revered the area around Halemaumau Crater as the home of the volcano goddess Pele, who journeyed from Tahiti to Niihau and Kauai before settling down at Halemaumau. For generations, Hawaiian kahuna came here to divine the future, hold rituals, make sacrifices, and appease the goddess with offerings. Commoners among the native Hawaiians were not even allowed within sight of these sacred grounds. Continuing into modern times, on several ceremonial days each year, when there is no eruption, Hawaiians gather on the crater floor to perform hula dances and other rituals to honor their fire goddess. In 1924, an explosive eruption shattered Halimaumau Crater, doubling its size when the lava lake drained. A spectacular fire fountain eruption occurred inside Halimaumau in 1974. The crater floor has risen and fallen from more than 1,300 feet deep to overflowing into Kilauea Crater. Currently, Halimaumau Crater is a robust 300 feet deep and 3,000 feet across. Even so, it is almost lost inside the larger and deeper Kilauea crater. Although covered with a hard crust of frozen lava, both craters still steam and smolder, and the volcanic heat rising up through them is still very evident even on a hot day. A whiff of this sulfurous gas emanating from the many steam vents caused Mark Twain to comment, The smell of sulfur is strong, but not unpleasant, to a sinner. A spectacular eruption has been underway in Halimaumau since March 19, 2008. The best viewing of this current eruption can be had from Jagger Museum, where views of the ash cloud at night, lit up with the glow of molten rock from below the surface, are particularly exciting. Clearly overcome with awe and wonder when he visited Halimaumau Crater a century and a half ago, Mark Twain also remarked, here was room for the imagination to work. 